welcome to Armstrong Stadium for homecoming 2017. You're in for a treat because today at 2 p.m., the Pirates will be hosting the FAMU Rattlers. Now, the Pirates are coming off of a big game last week against Norfolk State, where they took home a victory, making their record in the MEAC 3-0. They continue to be undefeated, and we're looking for another win today. This is going to be a huge game for Hampton University because it's homecoming, so the Pirates are going to have to play hard all four quarters in order to bring home another victory. Now, some of the players to keep a lookout for are all tonight Ian Yaki Johnson, in addition to Sean McKenzie. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere. Kickoff starts at 2 p.m. Rachel Prevet, Pirate Sports Network. Off to him. Williams has nobody open. Now he throws on the run pass. Is caught across the middle near the 50 yard line by Ronald Bell. And they'll hand off and go that way with McKenzie. 30, 20, 15, and down at the 10 yard line. Third and goal from the one. Handoff to McKenzie. He gets to the goal line, tries to reach for the referee. Say touchdown. Him. Inside screen to the 25, to the 20, up the middle, down to the 10 yard. Williams gets the snap, he fakes the handoff, he rolls out and he throws into the end zone to a wide open receiver. It's a touchdown. Williams will run, gets through the line to the 10, to the 15, first down, he gets away, 25, 30, 40, midfield 50, 40 on the far sideline. But the 44, fake the pitch to McKenzie, drop back, throw across the middle, wide open receiver, it's all in night for a touchdown.
said he enjoyed a wonderful game. Can you talk about it a little bit, Yes. Now, coming into the game, we've had a, already had a few injuries, one being Brendan Cole, who's suffering from a meniscus sprint injury and will not be re-entering the game. However, the Pirates are executing total domination with heavy hitters Shai McKenzie, Alden Knight, and Delman Williams. Hopefully, they can continue this momentum and keep it going the second half. Exactly. So make sure you guys don't go anywhere. The Pirates, I think they can pull it out and bring off bring up another win. And it's homecoming, so that's a really big deal. So make sure you guys don't go anywhere. I'm Rachel Burnett. I'm Tatiana Wilson with the Pirates Sports Network. Five thirty, twisting and turning, stays on his feet, 20 to the 10, and he loses his balance. Will fake the handoff, roll out, throw, pass is complete. It's a touchdown for Hampton to Quinton Lee. We are here with the quarterback, a heavy hitter of today's, game, today's game, Delman Williams. First off, congratulations on your win today. I know it's homecoming, and this puts you guys in first place in the match, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, coming into the game, you came out very explosive, put a lot of points on the board, and contributed to getting the team up in the half. What was your mindset as coming out of the game? Limited mistakes, uh, one play at a time, and just be consistent. And with today being homecoming, there's a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of pressure on the game. How are you able to stay focused and just continue to play? Uh, my teammates around me just coming together, and they made it easy for me. The old line did a great job. Receiver made plays, and the defense did a hell of a job. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Okay. We're back with redshirt sophomore Quentin Leap, one of the heavy hitters in today's game. 
first off, congratulations on your win today. Thank you, thank you. Now, as this being your first homecoming game, and you're not new to the homecoming atmosphere, but it is a lot of pressure to play in the homecoming game, so how are you able to stay focused and just continue and keep your eye on the prize? Uh, coach took us to the hotel a little bit earlier from the distractions. Yeah, like you said, it's a lot of distractions out here, so just getting focused is really important for this game. Now, coming into the second half of the game, the Rattlers made a huge comeback and they put they even took the lead in the fourth quarter. So how were you able to just kind of stay focused and just continue to play? Uh, we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, so coming out, uh, really just staying focused, executing. That's be about it. And you scored today's game-winning touchdown. So what can you say about that? And what was your mindset throughout the play? Just make a play. Just make a play. That's it. I knew it was coming to me, that's the call, so just make a play, that was it. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you. We're back with the head coach. Coach, first of all, congratulations on your win today. I know this was, this put you guys in first place in the MEAC, so you guys are still undefeated, so congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It was hard, tough fault. Got to take a hats off to the players and the coaches for getting the guys prepared and the guys executed. Didn't give up. Uh, we got down there late in the fourth quarter, but the guys showed a lot of tests in 42 and bounced back and got a touchdown. And what can you say about the team's overall performance on the defensive end and offensive end? Uh, overall, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about the uh, W. But we made a couple mistakes uh, and uh, let them back in the game. Uh, but when we got down, uh, the offense executed. And then at the end, when we had to have a stop on fourth down, the defense got to stop, and that was the ball game. So uh, overall, I'm, I'm proud of the guys for not quitting, keep fighting. Uh, it was a big game because the next game, and the keepers undefeated, like you said, and it's home coming for the, for the alumni and the fans and the family. That's what this is for. And in the first quarter of the game, or the first half of the game, we noticed that a heavy hitter, Brendan Cole, suffered from a meniscus sprint. What can you say about the status of his injury? Well, we don't know. we got to get an MRI on it and see how bad it is. Hopefully, uh, he'll be able to return, uh, maybe miss one game, or, or miss all the practice and play next week. But uh, time will tell. Um, see what the doctors say. And next week, you guys will be going on the road to take on the Bethune, Cookman, Wildcats. How will you guys prepare for next week's game? Uh, we, just like any other week. Uh, we got to take care of the little things that we did and didn't do well today, continue to do the things that we did well. Bethune was a great team. Uh, they, they record don't show that, but the, from the top to the bottom to the middle of this league, every game is like this. Whether you're at the bottom, in the middle, or the top, it's, it's close games every week. So we got to be prepared, ready to fight down there. It's homecoming for them. They're going to have some extra energy. We got to be ready to play. Thank you. Congratulations on your win today. Thank huh? you. And congratulations on today's win. Okay, thank you. I heard North Carolina Central loss, so that means only us in North Carolina a and is undefeated. So uh, we, we still got to take care. We still control our own destiny. We got to worry about next week and then after that and go from there. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Welcome back. We're here with Oral Varsin and Raheem Husky, two of the key defense players in today's game. Now I'm going to start off with you, Varsin. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? First off, congratulations on today's game. Congratulations on you guys being undefeated in the MEAC. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as a defense player, how are you able to play through the pressure and just as the Rattlers came back and even took the lead in the fourth half, how are you able to play through the pressure? Uh, we just basically got to stay poised through the whole game, you know. Our offense had our back all day this game, you know. We kind of let them down a little bit, but we just had to stay poised and make the plays at the right time when it was our time. And I'm going to talk to you now, Husky. Congratulations on your game today. Appreciate it. How you doing? Appreciate it. Now, as the, the score was really close in the fourth half and the time was going down, how were you able to just make stops and keep the Rattlers from scoring again? Just when your time comes, big time players make big time plays in big time situations. So you got to just do your job, make your play when it comes to you. Thank you guys and congratulations on your win in today's game. Appreciate it. That's a wrap here at Armstrong Stadium. The final score was 31 to 27. Hampton win. The Pirates are still undefeated in the MEAC. Next week we will be traveling to Daytona, Florida to take on the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. Tatiana Wilson, Pirates Sports Network.